spoke to uh, President Trump at the White House in July, asked him if the Fed should be raising rates at the trajectory uh, that was indicated back then, and he had uh, this to say. I put a very good man in the Fed. I don't necessarily agree with it because he's raising interest rates. I'm not saying that I agree with it, and I don't necessarily I agree do. with it. I yeah. must tell you, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I'm not thrilled uh, because, you know, we go up, and every time you go up, they want to raise rates again. And I don't really, uh, I am not happy about it. Uh, but at the same time, I'm letting them do what they feel is best. But not all Republicans see the things uh, the same way as the president when it comes to the Fed. Join us now, Republican Senator uh, Jerry Moran. Senator, uh, thanks for, for joining us uh, this morning. And, and I, I don't, you know, I, I even think the president probably thinks that the Fed should be independent. But at the same time, I, I could make a case that a rules-based uh, Fed that, you know, John Taylor's been talking about, uh, you know, might not be a bad idea. It's just there are just times where I wonder if one guy or one institution, and in fact, one individual normally can sway his colleagues because, you know, a lot of the other uh, Fed members were more dovish. Do you think the gut feeling of one individual that may or may not be totally up on, on the economic uh, milieu, if you will, at any given time, that's the guy that can either put us into a recession or not put us into a recession? Are you comfortable with that? Uh, well, I'm certainly not comfortable with one guy or one person being able to put us into a recession. Uh, and when I talk about the independence of the, of the Federal Reserve, I mean, maybe the Federal Reserve can be modified. But the point here is the decisions need to be made based upon economic analysis, not on an oversupply of political uh, influence or political decision making. What's what's good in regard to the next election? We need we need short and long term economic policy, particularly monetary policy, that is based not on the whim of one person or not on how it affects the next election. And therefore, and, and I would say I hope that the case is in the Open Markets Committee that while a chairman can be influential, I've seen plenty of instances uh, in the case of my own Kansas City Federal Revo uh, Reserve Absolutely. Board uh, President in which there is independence and outliers in speaking. Uh, and so. Uh, I just want to make certain that the decisions are made, uh, and the, the Fed has a, a dual goal, it, and neither one of those goals has to do with uh, Republicans or Democrats. It has to do with full employment and uh, control of inflation. So uh, yes, it is important that decisions be made not at the whim of a person, but uh, the, the basis, the motivation for making those decisions cannot be politics. Well, well let's say you've got a, a, a president, not necessarily Donald Trump, who, who you know, it has tried hard through deregulation or through policy to get the economy growing more quickly than, than it has in a while. Uh, and how do you know at that point whether if he's jawboning rates to stay low and, he, and there's no inflation, how do you know he's jawboning for re-election or jawboning to keep the Fed or to keep the economy growing and, and, and benefiting from all the, the fiscal things that, that the government's trying to do, and, and you don't need a headwind that, that uh, you know, it might cancel out all those hard-won efforts that he made. How do you know it's about re-election and not well, about I, wanting the economy to grow? Well, I think in the case of rising interest rates today, that was highly predictable. In fact, a number of us complained about the past Federal Reserve Board and their monetary policy, Open Markets Committee policy, knowing that the day of reckoning had to come, monetary easing set the stage for the need for rising interest rates. And the, the issue here is that the Federal Reserve has not just the idea, the, uh, the goal of a growing economy, but also the necessity of preventing uh, interest rates at, uh, at a position in which they create, they, they don't control inflation. And so while we talk about a growing economy, man, that's what I want. I want more jobs, better jobs, higher paying jobs, more secure jobs. But we also know that there's a consequence to come to, that comes to those people who have those jobs if in, inflation uh, takes away their earning power. No, we understand that. But it, it also with, you know, you see some wage gains finally uh, for people. And, and I mean, you've, I'm sure you've argued either pro or con against a Phillips curve analysis. If you've got copper hitting lows and oil hitting, you know, back in the 40s, where you, you have Jay Powell deciding in his view that, in, that inflation is going to be a problem near term. That may, he may be right. He may be wrong. Some people think yes. Some people think no. 
and, and he's in a position to say we're way below normal when he's no better than anyone else at knowing how far below normal uh, in terms of interest rates we are. So, um, you know, just, just to invoke the independence when some guy might be absolutely wrong in his assessment of the current situation, I'm just not sure that that helps either. The point I would make is that the, the law indicates that a uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, a member of the Federal Reserve Board can be removed for cause. Right. My point would be that the cause cannot be that we disagree with their policy, their monetary policy. Uh, over time, a president, the next president, past presidents, all have the ability to influence uh, who makes those decisions. Right. We need to make certain that what you indicated in kind of your opening comments, that right. no, no one person, no chairman, Right. is uninfluenced by other factors, Senator, including a president. Like, it kind of looks like the president was right. I mean, I, I, not for nothing, but... Uh, well, we have... I, I'm obviously supportive of uh, the right. administration's policies when it comes to growing the economy and regulatory reform and tax right. changes. Those are all good I things. Mean, we want the benefits of himself, from that. I, I've, you know, real estate guy, loves low interest rates. Who knows why? You know, I'm not, I'm not saying he's, like, prescient or smarter than Powell, but at the time he was saying it was... Probably not a bad, uh, not a bad. Place we, to take. we also know that political influence affects the markets as well. Yeah.